Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to create this Valentine's Day theme based illustration using Adobe Fresco. So now I have a similar illustration that I'm going to create in Procreate. So if I've not uploaded that video already, I'm going to upload it soon, maybe in a couple of days. So do go check that out as well to just see how easy it is to recreate something no matter what tool you have. Okay, so let's just get started, I guess. So for this illustration, I'm going to use a small postcard that is 6 into 4.25 inches and 300 ppi just click on that to create your blank canvas for this tutorial purposes i'm going to be using the same artboard that i used to create this one but i've grouped them together so i can uncheck it anytime i want to create a blank canvas the only reason i'm doing this is so that i have all the colors in my color palette if you want to download this color palette go ahead and check out the link in the description box below right now and if you want to know how to bring those colors into your color palette, I have a tutorial on that as well. I will link it in the description box below or in the card somewhere out here. Okay, so let's just get started. Don't worry if you have no idea how to do this. I will provide a sketch as well so that you don't have to start with a blank canvas. Although I would highly recommend that you start with a blank canvas so that you get used to working without sketches. And it's a very simple illustration. There's nothing that is right or wrong. Okay, so let's go to our vector brush. Let's just choose the lightest pink that we have here. I'm just going to click on a new layer and then draw a rectangle like this. And let's go to the fill tool and fill it up with some color. So I think I want this to be a little bit, little bit bigger. Maybe about this size. And let's go fill it in. All right, so now we're going to start with the artwork. But one thing you should know is all our artwork is going to be behind this rectangle. That's why when we create a new layer, we're always going to create it below this rectangle. OK, so let's go ahead and choose the brush for this tutorial. So the one that I've chosen for Adobe Fresco is under painting. And in here, if you scroll down, you'll see something called as color fill. So I marked a star against it so that it shows up under my favorites. So let's use the color fill option and let's go ahead and choose the dark purple that we have here the darkest purple let me just check the brush size i think this should be okay but you can also increase the size so let me just increase this to about 70 i guess and let me check okay this should be good but i see that my rectangle is quite huge so i'm just going to go back to that layer click on the transform tool and make it a little bit tinier and try to keep it somewhere in the center so that there's more space for artwork and click on done. So let's go back to the layer now. We have the brush and we have the uh, color selected and I'm going to go ahead and draw the first one and maybe make one here like that and one here. So let's go ahead and add one here. This could be big or small. So one thing you should know is once you start drawing, don't lift your pen because then it makes different, you know, it gives you a different color. So let's make one here as well. So let's go ahead and do the next one now. I'm going to go ahead and choose the dark purple here, but not the darkest one, obviously. And I'm going to make some blobs like this. Like that. And maybe a little bit of overlapping with the previous one and a small one like that and let's do the same thing here make a bit of overlap and do that and i think that should be good okay so let's move ahead to the next one now and this is the favorite part of mine that is the dark it's orangish red so we're gonna draw a flower here so for this I want to increase the brush size to about 170 so that this is pretty big, you know, and then something like that. Or oh, wait a minute. Let's reduce it to 150. And you see, I've lifted my pencil so that there's this kind of overlap happening. And I'm going to draw a bud here like that and here as well we'll add some color like that and then let's make one here ok 
okay and a bit of color like that i think that looks fine and i'm happy with how it turned out okay and i want to add some bit of a color right there okay so that looks fine as well and next up are the blue flowers but for that i'm going to click on a new layer and bring it below the artwork that we have done right now and let's go to the light purple not blue light purple you can actually choose blue as well it's totally up to you and i'm going to make a flower here let me just undo that and you can see my flower like that and we're going to make one here as well that and in here if you want you can reduce the opacity of the layer because i think this is too dark purple i should have chosen something which is lighter because now it is blending with the orange colored flower so now i've reduced the opacity by going here and then reducing the opacity okay so that looks fine as well and now it's time to add some minor details so i can go here click on new layer Go back here and choose the green that we have and we're using the same brush but we're going to reduce it maybe up to 29 i guess and you can actually increase the flow of the color or the yeah in the brush settings and then we're gonna draw some leaves kind of a thing like that there you go you can put one here Go here and do something as well. You can make one here. Or maybe not. Maybe a little bit this side. So that it doesn't overlap the nice, you know, floral there. And then we can do here. like that we have to make the stock like that there you go and we don't need it for this flower anyway because it's it's okay all right i think that should be good but you can add some if you want to maybe like that okay all right so let's go to the dark purple that we have not the black, the dark purple. And I'm going to add some, maybe increase the size to about 38 or something and add some bud kind of a thing here. You see how roughly I'm sketching these things? I don't really care that they are perfect. Something like that and uh, maybe that should be good. So let's go ahead to the another purple that we have and uh, we need to add some lines to this. So I'll go back to that layer where we have these blobs of purple and I'm just going to go ahead and draw like that. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, and I think the space is a bit empty so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of blobs like that. Okay. And let's go back to the darkest purple that we have. We're going to add some lines here. Okay, I think I'm ready to go to the next level now. So let's go ahead to the bottom most layer and click on a new layer. And choose the darker pink that you have, not the darkest. The darker pink that you have, go to your fill tool and click and click on vector fill and color off the whole area now we're going to add some splashes so i'm going to go to the topmost layer and click on new layer go to your watercolor brushes you have something called as watercolor wet spatter so we're going to use that the setting is at 512 the flow is at 100 and the water flow is at 73 you can change that if you want let me go ahead and quickly select the dark purple that we had so if you just click on it it's going to show up like this if you click and hold so it's going to make more darker splashes so if you feel like it's on the flower you can always move it down somewhere so that it goes behind the flower so you don't have to deal with the really dark you know splashes gonna do that over here maybe and let me change the color to green 
There you go. Some here and reduce the size if you want and add a bit here. And let's go into our pink. Oops, I undid that, so let me redo that. Nothing to redo apparently, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of splashes and make this to fight well. I want some here and some here and some here. And I can go and choose some other color as well, but I think we're going to stick with these colors because they look nice to me. So don't put a lot of splashes, some here and there should be okay. And like I said, you can always go back and put it below the uh, floral layer so that it does not uh, look too overcrowded or something like that. Okay. I would have left out this green here because now it looks like there's so many splashes and uh, very few, you know, uh, space. The white space is very less. So don't put so many splashes. You should do something which looks, let me just show you, something that looks like this so that there's very few splashes around. Okay, so now that we have here, let's go ahead and add some shadow to the rectangle. So you just have to go one layer below this rectangle. So I've created a new layer here. Go to your brush tool. And if you go into basic, you'll see my another favorite brush that is soft round opacity. So click on that and we're going to choose this dark purple. You can choose any color you want and it's set as 72 and the flow is set as 59. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of shadow around this rectangle right here. So now if I uncheck it, you can see there's no shadow and boom, there's a shadow. So that's what we're going to create. And now you can go ahead to the topmost layer, click on a new layer, go back to your brush tool and we're going to choose the same brush that is color fill and it's a 38 so let me just check okay this seems like a good size you can choose whatever brush you want here right now and it's time to add some text so i'm just gonna say my love so you can actually check click on the transformation tool reduce the size or move it around click on done and your final artwork is ready so let me just show it to you. Yep. So this is exactly what I'm going to create in Procreate. So if you want to go check out Procreate tutorial, make sure you do that. Um, it'll be up on my channel in a couple of days, I guess. Maybe on a Saturday. I don't know. I still have to film and edit it. So it might take a bit of time. I just hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And turn on that notification bell. And I think I'll see you in the next video then. Bye.